will never be defeated. en favor de la de Chávez, de Maduro, y allá es un grupo opositor. Yeah. <laughs> 
burning down health clinics, burning down health clinics, and having them call the call about democracy. And in the sheer goal, these people, as WikiLeaks shows, have been funded and directed by Washington. Their claim is to speak in the name of democracy, but they refuse to accept the democratic will. And one sign of how undemocratic these people are is the campaign that Caprillas, Henry Caprillas ran. We saw him come very close to winning. You'd think they'd be happy after so many losses to get that close and go back and prepare for next time, rather than burn down the government governing party's offices. He had to run on a campaign that he doesn't stand for. He got so close by mimicking Hugo Chavez, who he tried to overthrow in 2002. That is how accepted the policies of Bolivar and Revolution are. Chavez's policies are the only way Capriles could nearly win that election was the promise to defend the social missions and make them better. They were Chavez's social missions. They're the social missions of the poor. They're the social missions of the poor. They created them, they fought for them, and they defended them against the coup plotters who now pretend to support them. And the only way they can win the votes is to pretend to support the legacy of Hugo Chavez. That is the only way. And when they still lost, when they still fell short, they refused to accept the people's will. They refused to accept the vote of the Venezuelan people, despite all the international observers who were there, who make, make some mockery of the claims that opposition people were driven out at gunpoint, of which there is no evidence. No international observer has seen this. They've all said it was a free and fair vote. We have to stand up for the Venezuelan people's will, because it is in Venezuela and other places in Latin America where an alternative to the type of policies being forced on the rest of us all around the world, including here, we give our latest cuts to education. Yeah, <laughs> cuts to education, whereas in Venezuela, education funding is increasing, where literacy has been eradicated, where it's been spread. It's for that reason that we have to say that the United States and the policies it represents of austerity and neoliberalism cannot win in Venezuela. We won't accept their lies. We know who the Democrats are. They're not the ones burning down electoral offices and health clinics and government parties' offices. They're the ones who in a few hours' time are going to march in their tens and their hundreds of thousands on the streets of Caracas to confirm Nicolas Maduro as their president while he's inaugurated to say no to the fascist coup orchestrated from Washington. Thank you. Este es un acto de solidaridad con los... Ahí están los fallos venezolanos. Los fachos venezolanos. Acá hay un grupo de, que apoya la, a, a Venezuela y más allá está un grupito de, de venezolanos. by 